Hello guys, welcome back to War Thunder and welcome to a video about the F5. Now, uh, this content is a little bit late because everybody did a video about the F5 as soon as it got introduced. But, well, those people get their F5s for free. I had to grind for mine and trust me guys, the grinding process for this plane is a little bit tedious. It's not impossible. Even though with the air-to-air uh, -air missile spam, all of that, but at the same time, it is pretty tedious. Because the guns themselves really suck. They're amazing. The fire rate is superb. It, they're competitive at their own BR, but stock guns with, with the stock ammunition, they're terrible. And I do mean terrible. You're going to get a lot of hits and a lot of crits. And... Uh, Basically, you need to go for the wings, like I'm going to do with the uh, F-104 right here, or another F-104, I don't remember. Yep, not the F-104 right here, but I'm going to do it uh, to the F-104S. But, as you've seen right there, I've just got a, uh, well, a hit on him. 20 millimeters aren't supposed to do that, and yeah. This plane turned out to be very maneuverable, and uh, a tiny bit competitive at uh, top tier, but... It sits at a BR that is kind of strange because this plane doesn't have a radar. You need to use the guns like these. Well, like this in this scenario. And as you can see here, the F-104S, I just go for the wings, clip them completely off, and I just continue to go on. But like I was saying, this thing, in my opinion, should be 10.3. Now, you might be saying, this plane is fine. This plane, it's performing at its BR. Yes, but... um kind of thinking about future vehicles and future BRs. So basically, I feel like at 10.7, the F5 is a little bit of a support plane for other planes, basically. You're supporting the top dogs of the meta. And uh, it does really good, especially when you get its air-to-air -air missiles. Its air-to-air -air missiles just do wonders. Now, as you've heard from a lot of different, well, content creators, maybe, probably, I don't know, uh, the F5 can really turn. It is so nimble and so good that it is unbelievable how this thing can keep up with Mirages or F1s or T2s. This thing is just a god when it comes to turning. However, that's its curse. Because this plane, and as soon as you lose your energy, you become a flying brick. You cannot perform anymore. And just like that, as you've seen right now, with the guns only, I got myself, what, three kills, one assist? Which is not bad. Now, as soon as you get your air-to-air -air missiles, you're still going to use your guns, obviously, because this thing, well, really performs in dogfights. But kills start getting a little bit easier, and you're going to see right here with the AIM-9Ps, they're better tracking, and, well, the flares don't fool them as easy as other missiles. I'm looking at the R-60s, of course. But it's really easy to get air-to-air -air kills with these missiles. They're fun to use. However, you're limited only to two missiles. And here I engage a Mirage. As you can see, the missile tracks perfectly. 20G overload. And it's an easy enough kill. To be completely honest and to be fairly honest, this plane is good. But like I said, it's not in its own BR. I don't feel like the F5 should be at 10.7. I know that War Thunder is trying to push a top tier Chinese vehicle for, well, the Chinese, but at the same time, it's not the best. It's, 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 it gets ground capabilities, ground pounding capabilities, but right now, the top tier tank for China is basically, well, a 10.3. And you're going to up tier yourself with this plane just for a few ground kills, just to have a little bit of fun. That's why I should think that this thing should be 10.7. Uh, 10.3, I'm sorry. But enough rambling about that. The plane is just fantastic. The plane just re responds amazingly well, and it does great. The only bad thing about it is the stock grind, which is absolutely terrible. Once you get your air-to-air -air missiles, it is extremely easy to get kills with this thing. 
Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Fly safe, have fun, and I'll see you guys on the next one.